guys, it's Megatron is Primal coming back at you with another Transformers review and this time it's going to be myself, Megatronus from the Robust in Disguise line. Uh, there's some artwork on his box there and here's the front. Transforms in seven steps. Let's see. And, whoops, wrong way. That's it for the box. Here he is in his tank mode, which does have a rotating turret. Can go all the way around. You just kind of have to be careful with stuff. He can. I think I messed him up. Yep, I did. I popped him off there. We'll get that back on him in a minute. <laughs> uh, you can do like the girl walk mode and little Gundam looking thing with half of his body transformed here and there. So we'll go ahead and transform into robot mode. Uh, first, we'll take a look at his weapon first. His little side knife there, or whatever you want to call it. Got some nice paint apps on it, nice purple. I think the Toys R Us version is not painted. It's this the same color right here. Okay, he is... What you want to do is take his feet and move them down like that. On the other side, move it down, take his knees, move them up like that. It was like this, and just take them like that, and then tab them. You tab in right here, and it tabs in right there. You just want to straighten them out, and tab it there. Move them around. Hey, look at the girl walk mode. Tabby's arms, nice clicky joints there. Which I don't think you've even seen that. Like that. You want to put his waist back on or his chest that I took off? Right back. Okay. And you just want to take his head, pull it up. It does have a little tab on it right there that taps in right here. Good push. See got his arms, rotate them. Got his hands on the other side. And there you go. Oh, I apologize for the camera. We really need to get a good camera, but. There he is in robot mode. Let me zoom in a little bit. Maybe. And there we go. He is the one with the visor up. And there's a free scan for anybody that plays the game. Uh, the Toys R Us has different paint apps. I think some of these are painted here. And on his arms, he's got some different apps, paint apps on it. Uh, he can hold his weapon. I mean, you can store it on the other side here. You can store it in this side if you wanted to. I think. No, you can't. You can only store it in one side. This side over here. Like that. You can just plug it in underneath here. Like that. Uh, his hands. His hands can move back and forth through the transformation. Uh, he does have a swivel here, the bicep. He's got an elbow bend, not that much. He does have waist rotation. Sorry. His knees can bend, but that much. 
and go forward and go back and go out. His head can do all the way around, 360 there. Uh, I'll usually take his way up in here and just let him hold it. I mean, you know, why not? Why not let him hold it? Like I said, I apologize for the camera, guys. It's not, I don't have my, on the tripod here, so it's a little, a little bit difficult. Sitting there trying to hold it and move it around. Like I said, there he is. Uh, he looks pretty good. Uh, that's about all I got for him for now. I was going to do some comparisons, but I want to kind of keep this video short and stuff, so. You uh, might as well just go ahead and bring them in. The only other two robots in disguise guys that I have, and that's the gold armored Grimlock and Steel Jaw. So I'll just go ahead and put his tail down for balance now. That's that's all I got, guys. So uh, again, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned. We'll have some Combiner Wars uh, Shockwave and some other Combiner Wars and. Uh, if you like, leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.